never in the history of this state since its creation has any governor won election in 27 local government. Governor Hope Uzodima boost. According to Arise TV, Hope Uzodima has emphasized the historic significance of winning the election in all 27 local governments, making an unprecedented achievement in the state history. Governor Hope Uzodima expressed gratitude to diverse groups, including civil servants, for their endorsement and commitment, acknowledging their love and support. The government also thanked traditional rulers and the Council of Elders for their stand, their stand first defense of Imo state interest. The comprehensive victory in all local governments reflects a victory of confidence in Governor Huzanema's leadership. According to him, I want to acknowledge the support of the traditional rulers in Imo State, the Council of Elders for rising up to the occasion to defend the interests of Imo State. I will therefore use the Chairman of Imo Council as a point of contact to thank our elders in Imo State for a job well done. I will not forget the 27 local governments in Imo State, all the leaders and the citizens in Imo State for coming out in mass, never in the history of this state since its creation has any governor won election in 27 local governments. For me, it's a mark of absolute confidence. Also, Governor Hope Zodima of Imo State has urged his major contenders, such as Samuel Ayango of the People's Democratic Party and Atan Achuno of the Labour Party to move the state forward. Ozodima, who spoke in Uwere, the state capital on Sunday, shortly after he was declared the winner of the poll, said that his next four years in office would hugely benefit the state. The governor said that he was grateful to the people of the state, security agents, and the state of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, for the rules they played in ensuring a peaceful election in the state. He thanked President Bola Tinubu for supporting his re-election bid. Uzadima said, I am humble and honored by your overwhelming support in yesterday's election. Your trust in me to continue leading our dear state is both inspiring and deeply appreciated. Together we have achieved a resounding victory, and I am committed to delivering on the promises made during our campaign. As we embark on the next level of shared prosperity, rest assured that your interest will remain at the forefront of my administration. I extend a hand to my fellow contenders from other parties, urging them to join me in a united effort to build and uplift our one and only dear state. In the spirit of inclusivity, we will operate a government that transcends political differences for the benefit of all. I express profound gratitude to every member of my team our great party, and every citizen of Imo for your unwavering support. Our state is progressing because of your collective efforts. I commend the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and its officials for ensuring a fair and neutral electoral process. I also appreciate the dedication of the security agencies in maintaining peace during the exercise. A special thanks to the leader of our great party, President Bola Tinubu, for his fatherly guidance throughout the electronic period. Together, let us continue the journey towards a more prosperous and inclusive Imo state. Thank you, Inde Imo, for your trust and confidence. Our shared future is bright, and I am committed to leading us to greater height, the PDP and the Labour Party candidates had since rejected the outcome of the election 
and called INEC. Call the call at INEC for supporting APC, you know, for rigging election for Governor Hoku Zenema. The Labour Party in Imo State has vowed to challenge the declaration of Governor Hoku Zodima as the winner of the Saturday's governorship election held in the state. At a press conference in Uwere, the state uh, capital, the Labour the Labour chairman in the state, Colustus, said that the process that brought Zodima of the All Progressive Congress as the re-elected governor of the state was faulty and full of electoral irregularities. So he said that the security operatives allegedly aided the staff of the Independent National Electoral Commission and the members of the APC to manipulate the poll in favor of Uzodema. The Labour Party chairman said that from the actual results cast, its candidate Achuno won the election. He described the poll as a daylight robbery and a rape of democracy. According to him, it was surprising that INEC could produce results in places where there was no accreditation of votes. So he said that elections did not take place in most places in Arshun, uh, Olu, Idota North, Okigwe, Uguta, Owere. Yet, INEC, in collaboration with APC and security agents, allegedly wrote results. He also faulted the returning officer, Professor Abeyemi, of the University of Adoikiti in Ikiti State for failing to address the Labour Party petition before going on to collect the result and return Uzodema as the winner of the election. So guys, let's hear from you. What's your take? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.